ladies and gentlemen immediately after president william samway arapoto won the previous 2022 general elections denis itumbi who played a key important role in william ruto's win denis itumbi who contributed a lot in president william ruto's side changed completely and something that you have noticed is that currently denis itumbi is no longer active at all so the question is what really happened between the two william ruto and denis itumbi could there be any possibility of a fallout between the two because unfortunately denis itumbi was not rewarded by william ruto despite denis itumbi being too loyal to president william ruto what i expected was that denis itumbi to be appointed by william ruto in any government position but up to date the only role being played by denis itumbi in william ruto's government the only work that he does is come here go there does denis itumbi earn salary in his major role in william ruto's government a role that is not recognized also i think that it is because of denis itumbi's own personal decision that he decided not to be active anymore i'm saying all this because recently just the other day president william ruto himself appeared before the public william ruto made a shocking statement william ruto appeared to be someone who is extremely disappointed with his communications team which failed to deliver and i will actually read for you that particular statement whereby william ruto was targeting denis itumbi and the team majority of kenyans i included strongly consider denis itumbi as part of president william ruto's communication team and this is because of the hasla nation intelligence the hnib the role of the hnib is to provide information to leak the updates to president william ruto's supporters that is why it is called the hasla nation you know haslas are william ruto's supporters right so the hnib through denis itumbi is supposed to provide information the updates concerning william ruto's political enemies what exactly are they planning against president william ruto and that is why in the previous 2022 general elections denis itumbi was able to update us on all the issues including if you can still remember william ruto's assassination plot in lamada also every meeting that uhuru kenyatta or raila odinga or kalonzo msyoka the opposition conducted denis itumbi was able to provide for us all the details of that particular meeting and what exactly they were planning for william ruto denis itumbi could predict for us a meeting even before it was organized but the most shocking thing 
is that currently as we speak the hustler nation intelligence is dead completely dead and the fall of the hnib is the reason as to why currently the odm bloggers or the bloggers within the opposition are the ones taking the advantage people like robert alai people like wahome duku people like polin joroge are taking the advantage of the situation let me ask you apart from denis etumbi who else do you know a strong person to defend william ruto's government absolutely none and if there is they are not really popular compared to denis etumbi the fall of hnib is the reason as to why kenyans are fed with a lot of propaganda and a lot of misinformation against president william ruto yet there is no one absolutely no one to defend william samuel ruto in the ground a very good example is the finance bill 2024 the finance bill 2024 was the key area where a lot of propaganda was being spread there was a certain article in the finance bill about the land issue and the propaganda was that if the finance bill 2024 was passed people's land will be leased by the government but there was no article that existed like that one in the finance bill 2024 and william ruto spoke about it this is what william ruto said i am sure my communications team failed there was no matter on land in the finance bill 2024 because of the fall of the hnib that is the reason as to why the media even the media is taking the advantage of the situation and don't forget that the media has always been against president william ruto even before he was elected i can give you a very good example of one media channel one media station that has always opposed president william ruto simply because the owner of that media is raila odinga's greatest supporter so you can see how things are extremely bad on william ruto's side that is why he had to come to come out and complain about the situation blaming his communication team but before we go straight into the details if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed i want you to take one second or two and hit the subscribe button down below for you to be receiving more political updates like the one that i'm currently doing right here you can also give this video a like so that youtube can recommend this channel and this video in particular to reach out to others because i believe that that is the only way that we can improve this channel to grow and to my returning subscribers i want to appreciate you for your continued support i was seeing a certain clip whereby kenyans are asked what exactly has william ruto done since he became the president of kenya but i was surprised to see that majority of kenyans don't really understand don't really know cannot mention what william ruto has done so far when we talk about the economy the price of basic commodities which have gone down 
immediately after William Ruto won the previous elections. When we talk about the fertilizers, which was at 6,500, what is the cost of fertilizer currently? I was surprised that majority of Kenyans cannot talk about the Kenya shilling which has stabilized. And so many other things. When you talk about the Hustler Fund and very many other issues. So this is what William Ruto said. We did not explain ourselves better. I am sure my communication team failed and our communications architecture did not deliver. The message did not get out to the people. The reason as to why William Ruto is disappointed with his communications team, and especially in the case of Dennis Itumbi, is that when you go to Dennis Itumbi's page, like for instance, Facebook account, when you scroll, just tell me, when exactly did Dennis Itumbi post anything positive to update Kenyans on the issue of the government? A long time ago. Yet very many people depend on Dennis Itumbi, right? Another thing is the issue of the, the, the current political issues. The whole Gen Z issues. Denis Istumbi did not update us on the issues that contributed to the Gen Z. If someone was behind the Gen Z's to fund, to engineer the demonstrations across the country. Until today, when William Ruto himself came out clean and mentioned that the all Gen Z's issues and the current political instability in the country is being interfered by foreign nations. Also, the issue of people sabotaging William Ruto's government. Who exactly are these people? Those are the kind of information that we have, would have achieved, we would have gotten from Dennis Itubi himself. Because we are told that the people who are sabotaging President William Ruto are people very close to William Ruto himself. The issue of the coup, and when you go to your ex account, that is why the issue of the coup is trending. Civil coup. Who exactly are these people who organized that, that failed coup? in William Ruto's government. The people behind it. So until William Ruto changes his entire communication team and take the advantage of people who are willing to do that job. For the case of Dennis Itumbi, he needs to be active. I don't know what to think. I will also want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason.